am Alexa Dezil and I'm a new mountain bike rider. I've um, had the Moustache Game 9 for a while now and it's got the new uh, Bush Smart System on it. I've been riding it and absolutely enjoying it and loving it, so I thought I would give you a, a bit of a review on it. So the first thing, the question is, who's the bike suitable for? I would say pretty much any mountain bike rider or off-road rider, whether, I mean, it's probably a bit more advanced, but if you're a beginner, you can also get jump on it and enjoy the off-road. It's really good for any steep terrain, but also like just rocky flat surfaces. I ride it in the forest, I ride it in the mountains, I've, yeah, literally pretty much everything. So having an e-bike has enabled me to do a lot more um, these places that I would have never dreamt to go up to 2,000 meter climb and you think oh my god that's gonna be horrible but actually it's so much more enjoyable you've got the time to look at the views so yeah you can go further longer and in places that you wouldn't normally think of going with the fact that it's the new 2022 models the geometry has changed quite a lot from the 2021 model and the older model um, You've got a tw uh, 750 battery on it, which means that the tube is a bit longer, but also means that it's a bit easier to do like steeper because you've got a bit more reach on it. Suspension is quite a big thing. You've got the Fox 38 on it, um, but yeah, they they great. They literally go over anything. Like today, I've been riding on stone rocks drops. The the mustache shock at the back is also great. You've got a lot of travel on the bike, which means that, again, any obstacle will just feel a lot more, just a lot more normal, and you won't feel like that bumpiness as much as you normally do. You've got the drop as well, so you can really adjust it, whether you go uphill, downhill, you drop it down going downhill, which, again, gives you more confidence because you don't have the saddle um, up in your, in your bottom. <laughs> as the name says it, the Samdi 29 is also got 29 inch wheels, which obviously now you probably think it's the norm. It pretty much is, but it also means that again, rocky terrain, downhill terrain, trying to go fast on the straights, it just, just goes. It, it's, yeah, I wouldn't go back to any 27 and a half. <laughs> It has the Shimano XD. Um, it's got 12, gear, 12 speed, takes you onto anything, and uh, plenty of range in the gears to go up or down. So you've got the new 750 battery on the, on the bike, and it's just it's been incredible. Uh, gives me a lot more range for riding. I can just keep going further and further than I used to before. So if you wanted to go, for example, to the next hill or to the next village, it could really give you a lot more range and uh, a lot more possibility. With the new um, new battery in 750, it also means that there is no key anymore. I mean, for me, on the previous model, it was quite annoying to have a key because if you forget it, you can't take the battery out. So removing the key makes it a lot easier to take the battery in and out. If you're at an event or if you're like traveling around and you want to take the battery out quickly, so much quicker. It comes with the Bosch e-bike Flow app as well, which, uh, which is great. You can also adjust the power, so you can go on turbo and decide like the, the, the power what, that you bring into the motor. So if you want to save a bit of power, that helps as well. You can be made aware of all the updates. So, you know, before you would have to go into the shop and check if there's an update, plug in the computer. Now with the app on your phone, you can do the update from your phone onto the smart system through the Wi-Fi. Also, another positive point about the new smart system is you've got a new remote um, control with a lovely LED on it. The Kiox 300 with all the screens. So again, when you're riding, you've got all your data on it. You've got the map if you want to. Um, again, you've got the speeds, you've got how much you've used into in tour, into eco, how many miles. So it's a lot more straightforward than the previous way. You're probably now wondering about the price after everything we've just said, and actually, it's very well priced. Very much mid-range if you compare to any other mountain bike and any other brands, especially for the spec you got. I mean, having the Fox 38 on it, XT um, gears and brakes, it's yeah, it's it's very much mid-range and very cost-effective, I would say. If you want to know more about the bike, feel free to visit the fully charged website 
give them a call, all the contacts on the website, or go and visit one of the showrooms, whether in London or somewhere else in the UK, they have a few locations.